Also guys, today I'm gonna show you what you can do if you have not enough storage glitch. So, first of all, let's go ahead and begin. So there's a couple fixes what you can try to do. Let's go over to our settings. And let's go over to storage. So guys, now let me explain. So let's just say that there is a small game. So a small game now is like 50 gigabytes of storage now. So yeah, back in the day it was a lot. But now, let's just say that you're trying to download a 50 gigabyte of a game. Maybe it could be 100 gigabytes too. What you will need is a lot more than 100 gigabytes. So let me explain. Let's just say that the game itself is 50 gigabytes. And you have about 60 gigabytes of free storage, right? So there's a high possibility that you cannot do that. And you will need a lot more space than that. So, yeah. Basically, what I recommend you guys to do is have a lot more free space than it requires to. You could maybe download a 100 gigabyte game and have like 130 gigabytes of free storage. You will still need a lot more. And why? This is why. So, over here, others. So, these are the updates, stuff like that. So, the updates, um, just stuff like that for the games that you want to play. And yeah, you don't want to forget the add ons too. So, if I go ahead and download a 100 gigabyte game, it's also gonna have some add-ons. So let's just add a other 10 gigabytes for that. And then you also wanna add the reserve space for your saved data. That's also about four gigabytes of storage. And then you wanna add the update. The update could be up to 40 gigabytes, like this game right over here. This game over here said it had to download a 44 gigabytes update. That's insane. I'm not sure though, maybe it was a glitch. It said 44 gigabytes of every update file. Like that's insane. So yeah, that's what I recommend you guys to do. Just basically have more have more reserved space, have more space and also make sure if you can add a extended storage like SSD. On the SSD, you can only add stuff like your PS4 games, but that's pretty much also enough like you can remove of the PS4 games into your SSD drive or what you can also do is you can add the M.2 on there you can just basically move a PS5 game on and also a PS4 game so I ordered one because like you see guys I really don't have that much space I really need a M.2 to update not update but upgrade my PS5 so yeah if I download one more game that is big like let's just say Warzone, then basically I cannot download any more games. Yeah, only maybe the small ones, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and take care, guys. Goodbye.